Good morning. Today is July 11th. It is Monday. It is 7.48 in the morning. And I am back in Kentucky. And I am trying out Spark in Danville, which is about 11 miles away from my home. And I pulled up to Walmart around 7.20. And I got this first offer. Continue on South Danville Bypass for three miles. Uh, $20 for a uh, shop and deliver, uh, four miles, one order, uh, five items. Uh, didn't really realize that it's a shop order right away, so, but when I pulled up to the parking spot, I realized that I have to go in the shop, which I said, you know, not, too, not bad. I still feel sore from... Being over exhausted and out for a couple days, I literally was out cold. I don't know, sick or something, whatever it was. I just couldn't get enough of sleep. I was just non-stop sleeping, and it's just not me. It was the same thing with, with Citlana, Crystal is doing a little bit better. So I shopped. Checkout wasn't smooth. They said one of the items were wrong items. I showed the customer, she verified, uh, not the clerk, she verified, she said it is the right item. But whatever it is, I'm moving on right now to the delivery and we'll try to see how the next hour goes. If I can uh, pull $20 deliveries, I know it's not gonna be, you know, big. I'm not gonna get, you know, as big deliveries as I might have have been in Idaho, but I can still make the money here. It'd be nice. Uh, I still do not know that they allow early check-in, and that is for me the most important part right now is to figure that out because that's gonna make a difference. Can I get an order every hour, or I'm gonna be? or I'm gonna run into situations where I'll only be able to get an order every other hour. So, hopefully in the next couple hours, uh, I will get something that is not a shop and deliver and I'll be able to pick, uh, have them, uh, you know, curbside pickup and didn't figure that out at that point. So, I will be back. Okay, I have completed that delivery uh, back at Walmart and waiting for the 820 drop. As you guys can see the breakdown, delivery was $16, $4 was the tip. Uh, they ran, are running a promotion for me right now, five trips. For one hundred dollars guarantee, that means they will be compensating each trip. Uh, so they are twenty dollars a piece or something. I'm not sure. Because if that's the deal, then I guess first couple deliveries will not be accurate deliveries that I can make. <coughs> Use that. <coughs> I can use it as a calculation to get an accurate uh, calculation predicament of what is my possibility income can be. Can I survive with the family just doing a spark? So we'll see how it goes. Um, but hopefully throughout the day things will more obvious and we'll go from there okay I just got an offer $19 for five or six miles uh, one was extra large 70 items nothing was small so I canceled it or rejected and let's see if I'll get another order. I just want to see how busy this place is overall. 
as well. So. So we'll play, play around a little and try to gauge and understand this door and how realistic some things are on Monday morning. offer. If you don't take it, then you end up, I guess, this place has a lot of drivers possibly and not enough of orders. Offer came in at 821 with the 822. Nothing came in. Right now we switched to 823. Probably nothing going to come in as well. Which kind of means either you take it or you don't make it. Yeah, that's not fun. Working with Walmarts that are not busy enough. But of course, right now across the country, because of the 4th of July, they allowed, they allowed almost everybody on. So there is a lot of drivers on these platforms all over the country. Yeah, nothing's happening. So, uh, you know, let's look at a few things. So my metrics are 100% arrival time, 0% drop rate, 34% acceptance rate. And that's as of this morning before I started working. And five star customer rating, 388 deliveries. I know I did a lot more than that, but they don't count all of the deliveries for some reason. That's something that I don't understand. What else I can show you guys? Um, zone. So this zone has two Walmarts. One is in Denville and one is in Stanford. So, um, then little one, that's the one right now I'm at. Stanford is where I live. And it is a smaller Walmart. It is also services. The town is a lot smaller and services a lot more bigger rural area, including Lancaster. So, yeah, that's, I don't know, it is what it is, I guess. So don't really have anything, and if you look at the PZ time uh, on Monday, says it will be busy at 10 o'clock this year then 12 and 1 and it gets really busy at 6 so are they keeping all these drivers hanging around loose just for the 6 o'clock I don't know
So a little disappointed how this thing played out, playing out so far. So what I'm going to do, I'm probably going to head back to Stanford. Um, if there's nothing else I can show you guys. So guys, V blast. I'll get this posted out here ASAP and then I'll keep you guys updated on the progress. But um, yes, when you start a market, you need to analyze the market, you need to understand the market and understand what that market can offer you. And if you cannot, if that is not enough, you need to look for better apps all or or for alternatives or multi apps or whatever it is here in uh, Denver, multi apping is not really an option because one other app that runs here in Denver is Dash. And show you guys the Dash, it is grayed out. You guys, look at the schedule, there is nothing for today. For Denver, nothing for tomorrow. For Denver, nothing for Wednesday. They're still giving me back that order that I refused to take. I guess I'll take it. extra large okay so Wednesday nothing Thursday we have from 11 to 4 I don't know what I'm gonna be doing tomorrow but they want me to know exactly what I'm doing uh, on Thursday at 11 to 4 I'll take it just for the sake of it there's no penalties, right? Friday, nothing. And Saturday, we have Danville from 5 to 6, for 30 minutes. So you guys can see, if I even tried multi-apping, it's going to be a hard one. Uh, yes, there is an Uber app that works here as well, but... You get me. I honestly, I have not gotten a Uber delivery yet here in Denver, so I don't even know if customers even use uh, Uber here or not. So let's go get checked in and pull up and see if we can get early access and all of that stuff that I want to know. And I got good news. For myself at least. Denville store 692 allows us to check in early. That means with the system that I use I can get an order every hour if there's enough of orders and orders that they're offering is good enough for me to take. This order right here is marginal. If that's the only option, then yeah, I'll take it. Otherwise, I would not. But uh, there is a situation where I might get into a situation where there might be an order that's going 15, 20 miles into the middle of nowhere. And if it doesn't pay very well, I am not going to take it. But... I'll see if I'll be able to get this order loaded and be back because as of right now I have 40 minutes, a little bit under 40 minutes to complete this order and get back to get grab another order. Um, but I have not even got them loaded yet, so that means 30, 35 minutes is probably. Oh, they're coming out with my order. Perfect. Let's go. 
Okay, uh, definitely one of those, that large order. There was a good reason it was declining. Two cases of water. You should reach your destination by 8.56 a.m. Bunch of soda. And bread and various other things. So, yeah. Those are the kind of orders I usually avoid. And it's an apartment unit one. So, also another question. Exactly where am I going with it? And I haven't delivered in Danville for a while, so kind of need to refresh my memory a little with the town. But you know, let's make it happen. Okay, I have taken this 1369.com order it is two stops one item each first of all because they're easy delivery yes a little mileage easy delivery and second there was nothing for 920 drop at all so um, they dropped that at 935 grabbed it got it in my car right now on my way to get it delivered hey if your Walmart is low, not performing, doesn't have a lot of orders uh, for deliveries, they're not pushing uh, uh, deliveries like some other Walmarts do, then um, you might have to figure out a way how to make it work. And taking a $13 order, which I normally would not take, kind of have no choice but to have to. So I think I'll call this done for today. I cannot say it is a super good market, but uh, because it's not, but it is okay. I think I sh if I run for the whole day, which I don't think I'm excited to do that, neither my wife will be excited for me to do that. But I think if I run for the whole day, I might be able to pull in hundred dollars a day so yeah I unfortunately won't be able to get on DoorDash like I see showed you guys uh, but it is what it is so be blessed be successful and do what it takes to make the money <laughs>